Hey, Primal Punch here, and I'm doing a kind of a request from a, a fellow, Stompy, Sharp, and Pointy, and it goes out to him first, and secondly, out to uh, Uncle Cow, uh, Speed Buggy, and Ninja XTX. Um, there are our, our chair-bound martial artists, and this is the the Zombie Fighter Django stick workout with uh, minor variations for seated, okay? Um, just because someone's chair bound doesn't mean that they can't punch hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, and now I, I, I want to say this too, you guys. Um, maybe you've got a certain amount of movement in your legs or, you know, a little bit of motor control problems or something like that. Any movement that you have anywhere I'd encourage you to utilize it and push it to, to any extent that's comfortable. Because the more you use those muscles, those nerves, you know, um, the nerve, just everything, use it. If you've got movement in your legs, I mean, kick them a little bit, whatever you've got, you know. Move your toes, your feet, um, you know, raise your, your calves up like that, you know, push up on your toes while you're, you're seated in your chair. Um, do all that. Move every muscle that you can while you're doing this exercise. Engage everything possible. If you have, if you have good movement, all right. You see, I'm in a chair that's got the arms. I'm trying to simulate as best I can, and um, I'm going to see what I can work out with the gym that I go to about a heavy bag, giving you a little uh, demonstration of the power you can get into these punches. Okay. Um, look, any 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 amount of of movement that you have, okay, whatever your range of motion is, utilize it as best you can. What I'm going to do is show these exercises to what I feel like a full extent of uh, a range of motion would be um, well seated, okay? And you can go up to or down from there, okay? But I encourage you to, to push your range of motion as far as it's safe or comfortable, alright? Work those muscles, get that blood flowing, you can only benefit from it. And I'm really inspired by you guys, like I've said. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this, this thing kicked off, okay? First, I understand that weights can be a problem. I should have had my stuff close. That's another thing. Um, have your stuff close. You know, if you've got like, uh, I've got a chair back here. You've got something where you can set your weights, all right? Now what I wanted to show is we've got couple little tomato sauce cans. They're both eight ounces. You know, you've got cans of soup that weigh a pound and, and like that you also have water bottles. Just full of water, man. You know, that's 12, 16 ounces. And let me tell you, even just with your empty arms held out, you hold them out long enough, man, and that's an intolerable strain. It starts feeling like, like something's gonna snap if I don't put my arms down. So look, repetition of movement, okay? And, oh, my wife says, "Don't use uh, don't use fruit cocktails for these exercises, because you bruise up all your fruit, man. You just end up with some bruised up fruit and sugar water. So, you know, you got these here. You can use cans if you don't have weights, man. You know, don't let it stop you. Um, water bottles, anything. You know, as long as you've got, and you can do these barehanded. Okay, if if this is uh, sort of uh, vigorous for you." Then, then do the do the movements barehanded if you have to. All right. So I'd like to encourage you to to do that. So here I'm using a short stick because I, I really need to minimize the mayhem. Um, I'm indoors, you know. So I've got the stick. Now our first exercise was the swings. Okay. Now slightly modified, we're going to work it like this. Okay. It's going to it's going to loop out in front. All right. So this is a swing, and turn your torso as much as is comfortable. And this is our warm up, okay? We're getting limbered up. The swings, all right? You see that? You're gonna loop out around your arms and back in. Loop out around your arms, or your legs, I mean your knees, and back in, all right? There's your swings. This is what it'll look like from the side. Okay. Got to minimize mayhem. So this is what it'll look like from the sides. Swings. Just as low as you can, okay? And get that shoulder movement. 
and feel those arms they're going to come over a little bit you see they're not going to stay like this when your torso reaches the end of its range of motion your arms continue on a little bit so that the the striking end, the point of that stick ends up about level with you or even behind you a little bit so there's our swings all right <laughs> all right side spears these ones you're gonna have no problem with okay this is gonna be a movement sort of like a bench press okay it's out in front of you and then pulled in to the side all right push out get that that longer distance of travel do you understand the um, distance of acceleration so you're coming out and tucking back in and it, it goes fast it gets fast at the end and again you're staying you're warming up when you're doing these okay you use whatever number of repetitions is comfortable for you I recommend starting out with the beginner zombie fighter and working your way up okay so check out the zombie fighter Django beginners stick workout okay so we've got the side spear and these are all strikes okay you can see a breakdown of how these translate over and punching power from the Zion Fighter Django stick workout, okay? How these translate over into strikes. And I'm going to work on getting a demonstration for you so you can see what this does to a 200 pound bag, alright? What these, these punches will do once you've strengthened yourself up. Okay, so we've got our, our side spears side swipes man no problem and again okay turn your torso engage those core muscles your back muscles as much as as, as you have a range of motion okay push those boundaries as much as you can you see what I'm doing here we'll let you see it from the from the side side swipes alright this is a strike a barehanded strike a stick strike okay and make that a smooth transfer between your hands and now if you don't have a wooden stick maybe you've got aluminum tent poles maybe you've got a rolling pin you know who knows what you've got um, a piece of PVC uh, even even man I know this might sound silly but look I've got vacuum attachments okay it's something it's something so it's lightweight but it's still it's focusing that movement you know so you've got you've got options. You've got options, okay? Don't feel like uh, don't feel like you don't have options. All right. So we've done the side swipe. All right. This is this is a killer strike with a lot of power, even with the bare hand. I mean, that fist travels a remarkable distance. It's something like like probably three and a half feet. So you've just got that distance of acceleration with even without if you've got no waist movement at all, no ability to torque your waist, wah, wah, that is still a good hit. You'll see. Alright. So then we've got stick punches. Alright. You guys have seen these. And again, engage those those abdominal muscles your back muscles those obliques and feel those get that that just get those muscles moving and if you have any movement in your legs move them raise them move them kick a little bit you know use your stick punches let that stick butt against the back of your arm okay and never fully extend your arms when you shadow boxing or or working the stick or anything like that okay There's your stick punches. One more shot from here. Now, sky punches. Alright? Just shoot that stick straight up. It's just a, the same as the stick punch, but fire it up in the air. And you're working your punching endurance, okay? You're working all these muscles through here. You'll feel it. You won't even need my explanation when you start on this. Now we've got the crowns, alright? And this, this, I can't stress enough, you gotta work on this, okay? Any, anything that you can find, any stick, all right? I mean, if you don't have anything else, take a saucepan, a small saucepan, so that you can do this crown. Hold it by the handle and put it out. Feel that whipping motion, okay? Go go slow if, if the saucepan's heavy for you, but I want you to feel that whipping motion. 
because this is going to be your bread and butter for those powerful, powerful chair bounce strikes. Engage your torso as much as you can and feel it like you're flinging a whip out. Okay? Feel that at that end, that wrist motion, that snap. Alright? I encourage you. This is going to build that snap where you're going to be able to just get those awesome punches. Okay? So that's the crown. You've got the apple knockers. No problem. Very self-explanatory. Just a crown straight up in the air. Alright? Just a crown straight up in the air. No problems. No problems. Now, after the apple knockers, we have the pendulum. And this one is going to require a simple variation. It's going to be very similar to the side swipe, I think you'll see. Okay? So you're going to come upwards, though. You see what I'm saying? It's going to be coming up instead of straight across so that you're working these muscles. Okay? I like to call this the Poe. It's in honor of Edgar Allan Poe. Well, the pit and the pendulum, but call it the pendulum if you like, or the Poe. Do you see that movement? Alright. And engage those side muscles. Feel that connective tissue through your ribs while you're doing this. Okay? And that's going to be an upward motion. Feeling these muscles across your beam. You're going to build that beef back here. Okay, after that is the the blacksmith, alright? This one, I want you, like I always say, pay as much attention to bringing this up as bringing it down, okay? And I want you to engage all these muscles along your ribs that hold your ribs together, okay? All the tendons and ligaments and muscles through here, engage those and bring it down, torquing as much as you're comfortable with. You see how I turn into it? This is the blacksmith. You know, go as far as your range of motion will allow, comfortably and safely. Okay? That's the blacksmith. Blacksmith twisting down, coming up, strengthening every muscle through here. Okay? We got the finishers. This is a good one. Because this is coming to the side of you, you see? And, and remember, pay attention to coming up and going down. Coil up tight like a spring. Uncoil like a snake. Coil like a spring. Uncoil like a snake, alright? Then you got the samurai. Alright, this one's good. And I encourage you, you see me, I always have my hands up. Get used to it. Have your hands up. You know, they're no use to you in your pockets or, or down here. Keep your hands up for when you're, you're working so that it becomes like a second nature. So, we got the samurai, okay? And this is another good one I encourage you. This is going to be those body shots, getting that snap into it. You come down, and then effort, bringing it up. Snap it up. You see? Alright, that's a good one because we're going to be, you know, when, when you got those, those body shots, you can come from down here and you can get that, that range of motion. That's a chin clipper, you know. You see what I'm saying? That's why I say, engage, bah, bah. bring it up and feel it in here, and torque over. All right. And let's see. Oh, um, we've got the the ladder punches. All right. You guys use your soup cans, your weights. If you can, I encourage you. If, if you can afford it, you know, I encourage you to buy some, some hand weights because they're, they're indispensable for exercising. You know, they've got them in all the different increments. Um, work with what you're comfortable with that you can do, you know, buku repetitions because you can heal from that. It, it won't do joint damage, you know, with the lighter weights. You just, just do it and be comfortable. So, ladder punches, look, man, this is no problem. No problem. I'm seated, but I'm doing the hardcore stuff. It's no problem, all right? See it from the side. You know, I'm proud of you guys where you're not you're not dealing with what you can't do, you're figuring out what you can do, man. And that's that's what it's gotta be, you know? You find your boundaries. We got the ladder punches, alright? Skull crusher seated, no problem. No problem. Okay? And all those exercises can be done barehanded or with the weights, with soup cans. Every one of them, alright? I broke that down if you want to see, and you can translate it right over, you know, 
the, the swings, you got your weights. All right. Side spears, do that same movement where you're coming out and going in. Okay? You got your weights. You got your bare hands. This is combat aerobics, all right? And then side swipes, no problem. Look at that sound effects too, man. All right? Side swipes, stick punches. Turn them over when you go out in front. Okay? And then here's the crowns. And try to feel that whipping motion, okay? Try to feel that whipping motion. And turn your body into it as much as you can. All right? Here's sky punches. Turn them. Do you see how I'm turning them? Apple knockers, just be straight piston-like movement. And you can turn your wrist at the top if you want, like that. You know, that's good. That's good. And what came next? The pendulum. No problem, okay? You see that? You're feeling that across the back. Across your beam, I call it. The back of your beam. Look at that. Look at that. That's a killer, killer movement. This is just building the fighting muscle up there, okay? And then the the blacksmith, of course, bring it up and down. Just imagine a hammer in your hand, okay? Feel that tissue all through here and down. 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 Finishers, and remember, go slow. Don't overextend your arms. Be safe. Slow is smooth and work up to speed. Okay, so here's finishers. Bring it up, engaging all these muscles. Torque down a little bit. Samurais. No problem. Do these barehanded with weights. Set the reps however you feel, but do them in the order I've laid them out. Trust me, you'll get the maximum maximum benefit from this workout if you do so if you have any questions feel free I'm gonna try to set up a demonstration so you can see the kind of power that you can build into these punches okay so I'm proud of you guys and I know you're punching hard and you're gonna be punching harder alright stompy sharp and pointy uncle cow speed buggy and ninja XTX rock on Boom, punch hard.